Our judges have completed their placings in the Ayrshire Junior three-year-old class. First, our second place junior is entering 1911, Higher View, Ducky's Dream, exhibited by the Cruises of Dyersville, Iowa. Production award winner, entry 1916, Iowa, Mr. Afton Willow, exhibited by Yerby Cows of Brooklyn, Iowa. First place bread known, entry 1921, Fisherson's Double Barrel Kaboom, exhibited by Tyler Fisher of Edgewood, Iowa. Placing third in the class, entry 1928, Barrick Burdett Dora, exhibited by Megan Bailey and Mark Barrick of Glasgow, Kentucky. Second place, entry 1929, Yellowbriar Burdett Panama, exhibited by Peter Vale of Copake, New York. In the winning entry and best starter of class, entry 1933, Scapeland DB Sicily, exhibited by Daisy Anacarico of Whiting, Vermont. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge your comments. Well, another tremendous class here, this time with our junior three-year-olds. And the cow that we start with today, she's a cow that wears the best udder in the class. And she uses her advantage and her width all the way through, especially at the top of that rear udder, to place over the cow in second. The first cow, she also shows us so much more width to her chest. She has more spring and openness about her rib, being especially deeper in her fore rib. And she also shows us more depth to her barrel and depth to her flank. Then an extremely stylish cow here that follows in second. The second cow, she's a logical second for us today, an extremely stylish balanced cow, one you love the dairiness on, the angularity, and she uses that edge and just being a bit cleaner and sharper throughout to place over the cow in third. Additionally, that second cow, she just wears a more youthful udder, carrying it higher above her hock, and she's also snugger at the top of that rear udder attachment than our cow here in third. The third cow is one we love for her with her openness to her rib, and she uses that edge and the depth to her fore rib, the width to her chest, and the overall width throughout to place over our cow in fourth. Additionally, the third cow, she also shows us more strength to her pasture and more depth to her heel than the fourth place cow. Fourth over fifth, it's on her rear udder. She's a cow that has more height, more width about that rear udder, and she also has more length throughout her entire frame to place over the cow here that follows in fifth. And then fifth over sixth, again, it's on her dairiness. She's a cow that's just cleaner and sharper throughout being especially silkier and flatter in her thigh, and she also shows us more snugness to her forearder as it blends more smoothly into her body wall than the cow that follows here in sixth. 